Hello everybody! I'm just here with a post review note to say sorry about the delay on these reviews due to my April Fool's joke, the joke let's play of Big Rigs. They are a little bit late and some of these were actually recorded right on release day, especially Titanfall, like that was written the day that it came out, but I was working on the April Fool's let's play and it was like, oh, I've kind of got lost in the shuffle. So that's why these two are a little bit late, but we're back to normal scheduling. So enjoy both of these reviews. Also, also, obviously this is a late review, so anything I say in this review may have also been patched in an update, so if anything has changed since the time of this review going out, then please forgive me for any misinformation that I say in this review. Oh goody, a modern first person shooter that's grey and brown and been hyped to hell and back. Oh, isn't this going to be fun? Spyro really, really wanted to record this one. Mm, no, he just fucking didn't. But, as I say, I got dragged to this, so let's get into the review. And just in case he doesn't want his name revealed on YouTube, for the purpose of this review, I'm going to call my friend Flame. So, as stated, Flame did indeed drag me to this, and if you've seen the store, as I described in the Yoshi's Island review, which might be before or after this, they really wanted to go all out to sell this absolutely perfect 10 out of 10 game with all of those Believe the Hype posters everywhere. So, should we believe the hype? Well, let's go have a look, shall we? So, the story. So, Flame was excited, as always, to buy the brand new shooter, because it's just kind of him, I guess. It's to, to his own, and while he was excited and buying it, I decided to look at all of the other new releases that were coming out. Mario Kart 8, where you can drive on the ceiling. Ho oh, ho! Christmas has come early! Yeah, no thanks, Nintendo. So, anyway, we took it home, and he gave me the second controller. Well, what the hell, I might as well. He's my friend, and regardless of how shit this game's gonna be, it gives me an excuse to review it while not having to buy the thing. No, oh, bad Spyro, Flame said, smacking me around the back of the head. You are a reviewer, and you still need to give all games a chance, even if they are Spunk Gargle Wee Wee. And at least this gives you something to review for your next gen. Or would you prefer to review the PlayStation 4 games which are out right now, then be in Lords of Shadow 2, an excuse to fall asleep? Knack, which is a gimmicky thing to make use of the... Button thing on the middle of the console, or Thief, which is basically like taking a beloved memory and throwing it in the fire, then jumping into the fire with it. So I conceded and played it for a while, and fuck me, I was impressed. Here I was, thinking that all Spunk Goggle Wee Wee was the same, but then Titanfall comes along to blow me away and show me that I was fucking right. 10 out of 10, think you might have added a few extra zeros there lads, this is like a checklist of how not to do it. So, by a fresh new take on shooters, they mean there is no single player to speak of, there are no private matches or lobbies, there are no clan support, there is no group emblems or outfits, and no way to set up a rematch. And that's only for the first hour in this multiplayer mess. After this, I asked Flame, so can we just play story mode as me and you with no other of these random people joining in? No. Why not? Because Titanfall has to always be online. Always. All the time. No matter what. <sighs> I had a heavy sigh. Okay, fine. Whatever. We are on the menu screen. Where is the mech customization? I want to give it a paint job. You know, blue with some flames and shit. Make it look like Mega's XLR, which is cool, so it feels like my own personal mech. Why are you looking at me like that, Flame? Really? This is the mech customization? Fucking bare bones is really the word, isn't it? Which is a shame, because I can see where Flame and the others are coming from. The actual gameplay is really good. Both the gunplay and mech combat are top-notch, with a very fluent system, like how the mech alerts you to things, like when you're outnumbered, or when you've got no chance of winning and need to eject. This all works really well. Combine this with the added parkour you can form, it does capture the run-gun fun of the old shooters, and I did find myself having fun with it. But it's still a fat, chunky space marine, only now he's got a fat, chunky mech. So this is a weird one. 10 out of 10? No. Perfect. Definitely not. Revolutionary? Far from it. But it's still a really fun game that combines several different styles of play seamlessly together. So does all of its good points tally up enough to outweigh the bad points and move this game from Spunk Gargle Wee Wee to a real shooter of old like Painkiller? Ooh, that's an interesting question. 
As for all the faults, there are a lot of good points, and as stated, the gameplay is fun and does put enough of a fresh spin on a stale genre. The graphics, stunning. At points, this really shows what next gen is capable of. Some of the backgrounds, like the bit in the space station where you're in space, space itself looks amazing. At some points, it looks photorealistic. Sometimes you would think they just took a photo of space, like, and then just said, alright, put that real photo as the backdrop. Is all its good points enough to outweigh the bad points and move this from Spunk Gargle Wee Wee to a real shooter of old like Half Life? At this point, I'm going to say no. However, don't don't kill me just yet. However, in saying that, this game has updates being worked on. That I do know. Flame told me this game has updates that are being worked on. And that could mean great things. The right ingredients are there. The gameplay, the graphics, but it's all bare bones and lacks any meat. But once you've added all of the things like fix the AI, custom mechs, private matches and lobbies, clan support, and so on and so forth, you could have yourself a really fun, really well put together game. But right now it's all bare bones, but and we need the meat, okay? Microsoft or whoever's making this, I've already forgotten, but we need the meat. You've got a good skeleton, all of the right ingredients are there in this good skeleton, but it's just a skeleton. You need to you need to bring that update out and give us the meat. So this brings us on to the final verdict, which I'm going to give an average five out of ten. It doesn't deserve full marks. But before you go thumbs down dislike who didn't give it perfect marks, hold on a minute. Is it an average five out of ten? But take this with a grain of salt. It's 5 out of 10 right now. As for right now, it is just average. Sure, it has nice gameplay, it has nice graphics, but there's no real structure. In the online, when you're trying to sell matches, there's no kind of like rematch options. There's no, th no kind of menu structure in the multiplayer. There's no real mech customization to make it feel like your mech that you were given and it's yours that you took to hell and back. No one else is just yours. So, as I stated in like a previous paragraph, all the right ingredients are there, everything is good, it's all nice, it is a kind of new take on a stale genre and it could be something great. But, as I say, right now, it's just the ingredients, it's just the bare bones, and they need to bring this update out and give you the meat. So, my advice, if you are on the fence about Titanfall, hold off for now, for a few months. Ignore the hype, as it's not as good as the hype says. Wait for a few updates to come out, like Nerf the Smart Gun, which is broken and OP as hell. Get some mech customization. Get some clan support, get some, like, actual, you know, rematches and options in your multiplayer menus. Then it'll be great. Then, it would probably get boosted all the way up to an 8 or a 9. Not a 10, it's still not perfect. But it'd still go very high. It'd still get to an 8 or a 9. But not quite yet, because the updates aren't out yet. So, if you're on the fence about buying it, hold off for a few months. Wait for the updates. But just know that this is a this is a time lock game. It's got potential, but it's not quite there yet.